Hey guys, here with Andrew from Surefire. Andrew, thanks for coming on, really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Cool deal, so hey, let's go right into it guys. We're gonna take a look at really all the new stuff that Surefire is coming out with from a very brief perspective. You guys can get a rundown from Andrew on all the essential information that you need about all of Surefire's new products. In addition, stay tuned for a suppressor at the end. Andrew, will you please take it away? Yes sir, absolutely. Cool. So first up, we have our new M600DF. DF stands for dual fuel, scout light. It has an 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery, which is what it ships with, but you can also put in two 123s. 1500 lumens with the 18650, so a whole lot of light coming out of this thing. With two 123s, you're still getting 1200 lumens. Outstanding performance. Beam pattern, I think, has gotten a little bit improved with the new LED. Uh, the body's a little bit fatter, but you're still able to use the same tail caps, same mounts that you had all on your previous scout lights, pressure switches and whatnot, still compatible. So, 299 MSRP, same price as the old Scout, and that comes with a charger and the 18650. So essentially, this is all the lumens. It is all the lumens, and this is uh, available currently. Cool. So right here, we just have a, an example of all of our scout light configurations. That's various mounts, tail switch, tail caps, pressure switches, etc. Um, all of these currently available. The Mini Scouts, which is the one battery, smaller scout light, has been upgraded to 500 lumens. So for three volts or one battery, small package, whole lot of light. Great option for you know shorter rifles, SBRs, maybe uh, PDWs and whatnot. Previously, it was 300 lumens. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and lumens are logarithmic, so the, the the changes at the lower end are a really big difference. You know what I mean? Going from three to 500 is a big bump uh, as far as performance and output goes. Okay. So I think we're going to cool. jump over and go talk about some handgun lights. Cool deal. Let's go. All right, guys. Now we're down to handgun mounted weapon lights. Andrew, take it away. Awesome. So up first, we have the XH35. Um, first of all, as we were just chatting about, this is a Master Fire holster compatible light. So we have our Master Fire holster system we launched about a year ago. Um, indexes off the weapon light, not the gun. So you can use pretty much any gun that you can mount a light on. It uh, has some cool features like it activates the light when you, can, when you draw if you want it to, or you can turn that feature off. Talking on the XH35, this is a thousand lumen max vision beam. Not so, all the lumens, less than all the lumens, but still a lot of lumens. Pretty close to all the lumens. Uh, you have a, a, toggle, a set of toggle switches on the bottom, which enable you to set, if you want to run a strobe, you can run a strobe. If you don't want to run a strobe, then you, you, you switch it off, and then you don't have to worry about it ever again. Same thing with the output. If you think thousand is too much lumens, you can dial it down to 300. If, you, if not, you can leave it at a thousand. And obviously battery life will decrease or increase based on that output, That's right? correct. You will get run time on the lower output. Okay. Um, activation's the same as all the X th series. Uh, you press for momentary, press straight forward, or rock, or constant on. That's the XH35 currently shipping right now. Over here we have the XH55, which is brand new for this show. Um, same layout as the S XH35, 1000 lumen max vision beam pattern. Uh, set of toggle switches on the bottom, but what's really cool is it has a top mounted laser. So. Our X400, which is our previous light and laser combination, this is the kind of the next iteration of that. The laser's bumped up to reduce your hide over bore, your offset. So um, less offset obviously makes everything easier for shooting at variable distances um, and also more conducive to running on a long gun if you so choose. So this particular model, uh, again, is a thousand lumens. Uh, we make a green laser, so that's, our, that's why it's the XH55G. Um, and the switches on the bottom enable you to say, oh, I want light only, I want light and laser, or I want laser only. So only green, is there uh, red or anything else? Right now, we're just doing the green. Uh, okay. if, if, if the market shows we need to do a red in addition, we may, but right now it's just slotted to do the green. So question, a lot of lights previously, they put the laser on the bottom with this laser on the top. Yep. Is this taking up the same real estate, the same profile as the regular one as well without the laser? It's a little different. A it's a little, little different. It's a little bit taller. If you're looking for holster compatibility, other than the Master Fire, can't give you a solid answer. Um, I know Safari Lands have, gen uh, have a generous amount of room a lot of times, but I can't give you a, a solid answer on if it'll work or not. It'll be situationally dependent. Okay. I can tell you it'll work with the Master Fire holster though. Okay. Excellent. Awesome. All right, guys. Now we're back with EDCLs. Andrew, let's go. So two versions. We have an EDCL one and an EDCL two. Uh, one is one battery. Two is two batteries. With the one, you have. A low of 5 lumens and a high of 500 lumens. It's a 22 millimeter TIR optic. It gives you a lot of throw or a lot of candela. Gas pedal tail cap where it's lightly for low, harder for high. To get constant, you, you tighten the tail cap or twist it. Uh, on the two battery version, it's a 1200 lumen max output. So more than double the output with two batteries or six volts. Um, dual direction pocket clip, you can carry it bezel up or bezel down. You can also use that pocket clip to wedge it on top, top of a hat as a makeshift headlamp. Awesome new everyday carry lights. Um, also brand new over here, this is the Dual Fuel Fury. 
This particular one is the tactical model, which means you'll get high every time you activate. 1500 lumens uh, on an 18650. Also has the capability of running two 123s, so DF for dual fuel. There will also be an IntelliBeam version of that. So the tactical one, single output, and then the IntelliBeam one for general purpose use. So this has all the lumens? It really does have all the lumens. Excellent. Um, last up, I think you wanted to touch on the suppressor. Damn right I did. So brand new is the SOCOM 260 um, SPS. This is a full titanium can, if you feel it. Super lightweight, it's 12 ounces, 7.9 inches, um, intended for 260 and 6.5. This is going to retail for $13.50. It'll be available in another month or so, so February time frame. Uh, very excited about this can. Super lightweight, still very durable, and very quiet. And this will fit on the standard SOCOM compensators or muzzle brakes? That's correct. SOCOM, SOCOM adapters. Excellent. Andrew, thank you so much for telling us about all this stuff that I personally will drool over in the months to come. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And I appreciate you being on the channel. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys have a good show. Thank you. You too. Cool.